Hey everyone. I am going to start right off with a question. This is from Lisa Dawn Marble. Would you please tell us where you shower or take baths? Well, that is going to be a simple short answer. I take my showers at Planet Fitness. Now, a lot of you join LA Fitness. I've never been there, but I put it in my um, little app that I take notes on. I'm going to go visit LA Fitness. I'd really like to know what's there. I've never even been inside, but there's a couple of them here in Tucson, so I'm going to go see. And who knows? I mean, you know, maybe it would be conducive to join that too if it's not too expensive. We'll see how it goes. You take a sip of my coffee. I'd offer it to you. Little old. Eh, yeah, probably lukewarm. And not much left. Okay, now where do I take baths? That is the real question. I usually get a hotel room if I really want to take a bath. And sometimes I just want a bath. I just want one. So what I do is I get a hotel room. Now I will tell you that, and I'll tell you about this morning in a minute how I woke up and what kind of a night I had. Well, today would have been a really good day to go get um, a hotel room. I just, yeah. But with the Gem and Mineral show, they're three times higher. What was a $100 hotel room is now $300. It's just the way it goes. And it's probably going to be that way all the way kind of through February. Because a lot of people are traveling here. They're trying to get away from uh, the snow back east, the cold, bitter cold. Yeah. So as you can see here, look what I've got on. Oh my gosh. It's warm out. It's like going to be like 79 degrees today. So Tucson is right back where it should be. And this is one of the reasons we have snow, so many snowbirds that come to Tucson. is because of this wonderful, wonderful weather. And Tucson has it. Now, is Tucson a wonderful place for nomads? People living in their vans? I'm going to say it's not that great. It really isn't. When my parents traveled, they had a fifth wheel. And when they traveled, this was way back when my children were very young. They would come to Tucson. Of course, they would come to Arizona. They actually, um, <laughs> I did not know that they actually spent time every year in quartzite. I didn't know that till way later when I first became uh, a nomad and got in my van. My dad, I mentioned quartzite. He goes, oh, I remember quartzite. I go, you do? He goes, oh yeah, we used to go there every year, you know. So he was one of those way back, way before Bob Wells and RV and all that stuff. So yeah. Um, But they did not park in Tucson. They would have loved to, but there really wasn't much here. So they always parked in Casa Grande and then they would come down maybe once a week and visit us. But they stayed here pretty much in this area. Um, they do part in Texas, but they stayed in this area pretty much all winter. And then what they did is they would go and go back to Ohio, northern Ohio, and they would park their fifth wheel in an RV park. And then in the winter, they would just come on down to Arizona and Texas, yeah, and New Mexico. So that's when I learned, then they told me, I said, well, why don't you come here? I was, this was way before I even thought about the nomad world. And they um, would tell me, they said, it's just not conducive. We don't park here because they're not as friendly. So there you have it. Well, back to the showers. I mean, look at this. Look at this. I'm in short sleeve. It's it's actually, it's not warm in here yet, but I would say, and it's still early afternoon, I would say in a couple hours, it's going to start getting warm inside my van. It was a little cloudy. Yeah, it's going to get like almost 80 degrees here today. Well, shower wise, so I wanted to tell you why I'm not going to go get a, a hotel room is because they're too expensive. Too many snowbirds here and everybody puts their prices up. Well, um, yeah, that's really where I take my baths. Okay, but when I had a house, I was a real bath person. Now, if you're a traveler, if you're, if you're one of those that just travels, travels, 
um, or you do need to go back to the east or whatever if you're more of a tourist type. All of usually, well, Pilot and Loves, they have showers. The other truck stops, not so sure, but I'm sure most of them do. They're about 16 to 18 dollars per shower, so yeah, that's a little expensive. And then if you're in Quartzsite, of course, if you're in Quartzsite, you kind of like know where your showers are there. But if you haven't been to Quartzsite yet, like Main Street, Laundromat, they have shower facilities for all the nomads. And there's an Arco, and there's a Pilot, and there's a Loves, and all three of those have really nice showers. So, yeah, we can find our showers around here. We can join a gym. We can join the YMCA. Um, you know, things like that. So that's how we do it. That's how nomads do it. Okay. Well, back to, um, to my morning. Oh my gosh. I woke up in the middle of the night. When I went to bed, I was kind of like, I, I wasn't at peace. There was, there wasn't peace in my van. I don't know if I was getting, um, feelings from afar. I don't know what was happening, but I went to bed. I did go to sleep, woke up at like one, laid there. I was kind of cozy. It wasn't that bad. I was cozy, but finally just kind of thinking about things. Then, um, when I woke up at, when my alarm went off, I was having this really weird dream. I'll tell you the dream in a minute. Um, I had the worst, I had a really bad headache. It wasn't like a dangerous headache, you know, like going through a stroke or something. It wasn't like that, but it was just, it just felt like the outer edge, you know, like my, the brain just felt a little swollen. I don't know what was going on. I really don't. Um, there was nothing leaking or anything like that, but yeah, I woke up with a bad headache. So it was right away. I took my ibuprofen, got that going, but, uh, didn't go to the gym today at all. I did drive to the gym good intentions, but I thought, you know, it's just not going to work out today. So that's one of the reasons I'm not doing anything today except talking to you. The headache's gone, but I still feel a little bit, whoo, you know, yeah, I just want to take things a little slower today. I did get out and walk. Thank goodness I got out and I walked. I wonder how many steps I got. Let's see what kind of steps um, are in my, well, 5,000. That's not bad. I really want to start working towards, since the weather's getting better, I want to do more exercising at the parks and not just at the gym. I think it's time to get out more. I think I walk more. I enjoy walking at the parks a lot more than I do the treadmills. I just do. When I'm on the treadmill, it seems boring. You know, even though I might be watching something on my phone, it just, the, the, the movement of the treadmill just isn't my thing. So it felt really good to get out and walk today. Yeah, really enjoyed that. Let me just give you a brief tell um, <laughs> on, on the dream that I had in the middle of the night. Oh my gosh. Well, obviously there was a whole lot going on all around. I was with a couple friends. I have no idea who they were. This is just, I'm getting the gist. I can only come up with the gist of, of, of the dream. But I remember the right, there was things happening all over the place. I was in a building. It was a big building. It was a house. Really nice, really nice. But there was chaos going on on the outside. And what we were doing, me and a couple other people, we were like trying to find shelter. Like, oh, let's go over here. This seems like it's calm over here. And we can be protected with what's going on out there. Well, <laughs> oh my gosh. All of a sudden, kabam! I know it came through this big ceiling and we looked, I can see it. I can still see it right now in my mind and we're all just looking at it. And it was a, it was like a huge, it was huge bronze bull. It was a, it was like a bull and it was, when it fell, it kind of calamitated and fell and all four legs were sticking up, but it was this huge, like a metal sculpted bronze bull. It was the bull. Now when I woke up, I thought about it. It's like, whoo, it looked like the, the Wall Street bull. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I remember thinking, oh my gosh, you know, we were just looking at it and going, well, let's go over here. It wasn't a bad time. It wasn't horrible. I wasn't in that. I wasn't in like a, 
like, oh, I'm just so frantic. No, I was quite calm. And I always have mentioned to anybody that I was close to that you can count on me if there's chaos going on. I do well in chaos. I mean, not that I look for it, but when there is something going down and I feel like something's going down or something, that's what, it's like I rise up and it's like, okay, everybody, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going <laughs> to, we're going to, this is what, what's going to happen. I almost seem to like come alive. It's like, that's what I was made for. You know, if the shit hits the fan, I got it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can kind of like scope what's going on and go, well, we need to get this. You go get that. You go get this. Let's work together. And, you know, and I kind of know exactly what to do. There's my real personality. Um, so that's the way I was in my dreams. So I'm just saying, okay, it was the Wall Street bull and it came crashing down the way that my um, intuition has been and everything. I'm not saying it's a big prof prophetic thing, but who knows? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, who knows? Do, 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 do. Yeah, um, yeah it, but it definitely um, was there. So take note, okay? And hang out with me. I got you covered, okay? Now, here's one more, one more um, letter I want to read. Okay, and this is a really good one. This is something that a lot of people um, do think about. I think about it all the time, and so do all my friends. This is from Carmen Darlin, Seattle. Okay, I love your avatar too. Hi Lee, love your videos so much. Oh, love you too. You just get better and better. Ooh, thank you. The question is, how do you keep your van safe when you're away from it? Well, hello. Yeah, because we are, um, we're, we're traveling in our homes. And it's not like we got neighbors that are always on the lookout if somebody was in the back door, you know, and your neighbors are going to see that. Well, when we're parked in a parking lot, people just think, oh, maybe that they own, they don't know that whose, whose van this is. So they may just think, oh, somebody's, they're picking the lock, but they may think, oh, well, you know, um, they're the owner. So what do I do? Because I was, I think she asked that because I was going downtown so much. I was getting on, I said that I parked my car and then I got on the streetcar to go down to, you know, downtown, 4th Avenue, uh, the U of A, places like that. Well, what I did is I said I parked it in a safe place. I parked it in front of my daughter's house because her house is not too far from one of the, um, the stops of the streetcar. They, you know, my daughter uses it all the time. Okay. So that's where I park and I make sure that I park it there. I will tell you a little story. It was after the U of A, I walked, I got off of the stop, got off at the stop and I walked. And when I got there, she was just leaving. So I went with her and then came back and she says, well, I want to ride my bike down to this one place we were at before where we could play pool and play game. And I thought, mm. I was a little tired, but I thought, well, okay, that's what she wants. She was going to ride her bike down and I was going to drive. Well, when I got there, it was, it was really crowded. It was a tough parking space too. I don't like to park my car downtown. I just don't. That's why I park it and take the, take the street car down. Well, there were no, I, I pulled in, there were no parking spaces, none. Okay. So then I had to do the, you know, you back, 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 trying to get out of there. She had pulled her bike up and she goes, well, why don't you just park way? Or there's some spaces way down, down the road. And I'm like, no, no, it can't happen. If you don't, if you don't, if you're not a nomad, you don't totally understand how serious that is. And especially downtown. I mean, there are homeless people walking around and there's no way, at least at the place I could come out and check on it every once in a while and kind of look out. So I just said, you know, it just isn't working out. I got to go. I felt really bad. But then I, I just drove to my, um, my night spot. But yeah, it's a big deal. If you're not a nomad, you don't know. So I've heard of stories where they are nomads like pro masters, but you know, yeah, 
where they're tourists and they're visiting a place and they park their van. One parked in a space in a parking lot that wasn't that crowded. When they came back, <laughs> um, their uh, van was broken into. What they did was they popped off the whole handle to get in. So I know it happens. I know it does. So you're going to have to, here's my advice. You, each individual has to decide the best place to park because I don't know what area you're in. I don't know what state you're in. And even in Tucson, there are different places to park that are better than others. So I have to look at what part of town am I in? Am I in, you know, if I'm going to be downtown, there's going to be homeless people down there. And, but if I'm in another area, who cares? Yeah, I might not even um, cover up my side, my front side windows at that point, you know. You sh and every Walmart is different. In Tucson, every Walmart is different. Some I will cover everything and some I won't. So I always put my windshield um, up. If you're in doubt, cover all your windows. Just cover them. Just cover them up. That way they don't know. If you're going to put that curtain behind the cabin area and leave that cabin area open, you just ask them for trouble. That's my opinion. That's not everybody. Some people say, no, I don't believe that. Well, it's up to you. But in my humble opinion, no, you're, you're asking for trouble. Because if that curtain, who normally has a curtain going across, they know like, ah, oh, there's stuff back there. But if all the windows are covered, they they don't know anything. They, 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 they know nothing of what could be going on in here. Okay. So you really have to, it's, it's different for every scenario. It just is. I'm going to imagine, let's say you're in a, cause on downtown Tucson, there are parking garages where you go in the parking garage and there's a parking attendant there. I'm going to say those might be pretty safe. Because why would there be homeless people in there? You do have to pay. You do have to pay. Try to find parking lots where there are a lot of other people. Don't go on like that one couple. They went out there and <clears throat> they were like one of like three. It is a huge parking lot. But there were only like three cars there. Yeah, there's not much surveillance going on, okay? So that's a good question. Uh, parking and worrying about your home while you're out and about doing things, being a tourist, it, it rates right up there with your car breaking down, trying to find a parking space, trying to find a night parking. Yeah, you know, the, the knocks on the windows, stuff like that. It rates right up there with anxiety. So that was a really good question. And I think it's just, if you have any suggestions, put it down in the comments, okay? Yeah, this is kind of a low key um, episode. And I am going to enjoy the rest of my afternoon, just kind of hunker down, make a little lunch, and uh, think about what's going to happen tomorrow. But I will be here tomorrow. I guarantee it. I love you guys. Thanks for being with me. Thanks for watching it all the way through. I really do appreciate you spending some time with me today and every day. I love it. And it does help me out. It really does. Um, it gives me... You, you give me, um, you give me good vibes. I get good vibes when I'm talking to you. I always feel better. I always do. Okay. Till tomorrow, everybody.